One of the most important figures in Nelson Mandela's life was Winnie Mandela, his former wife and an incredible anti-apartheid activist in her own right. CCTV anchor James Chow was recently in Johannesburg where he spoke to Mrs. Mandela. Winnie Mandela has been 23 years since Nelson Mandela was released from Robben Island. Is it really 23 years? It did not seem that long. I never counted, yes. Uh. What was it like then? the day that he was released? Uh, I don't think it is easy to translate that uh, by words. Um, the nation was ecstatic. It was awesome. Um, we had been expecting that for years and years, and by the time it happened, um, the excitement was so overwhelming and the hopes of a nation were realized. You say that you were expecting it for so many years, but the day they actually said, we're going to go and get Nelson Mandela, did you actually believe that it would happen until you saw those gates open up and see your husband emerge from them? We believed from the moment they were imprisoned that uh, no matter how many years it took, they would come out and he would lead this country to freedom. Uh, otherwise, I, I wouldn't have had the strength to fight, to carry on the struggle and to take the mantle from the leadership that had gone to prison. Uh, it was the belief that they will be liberated and come out of prison that actually made me um, that is why I, I gave up my life totally to the liberation of my people because I knew that uh, unless I did that, uh, they would have been forgotten in prison. Um, the idea of uh, placing them on Robin Island uh, was in a way a stamp of finality in the minds of uh, our oppressors they thought that uh, they would be totally forgotten and with time they would fizzle out and just perish on Robin Island. But you I didn't allow them to I be forgotten? I took a deliberate decision. When? How? No, you don't, you, you don't wake up one day and, and take that kind of decision. But I took a deliberate decision that I would expose myself to the worst of the apartheid regime.